Uh, a lot of people come to the Archicar Refuge to experience a beautiful wilderness beach, uh, but they also come to see turtles. Uh, they can experience turtles on a morning walk and they can come at night to, to go on a guided sea turtle walk. You can get right up behind a wild sea beast and, and see what it does and watch it lay eggs. The refuge is not uh, a refuge in the traditional sense where we're a million miles from anywhere and it's a vast wilderness. Uh, that's not the case. Uh, we're on the edge of a vast wilderness, the Atlantic Ocean, but here on land, uh, the sea turtles share their nesting beach with us. There are residences or even a few mom and pop hotels. So uh, how can that be? Uh, it's a mosaic refuge. It's not just undeveloped, undisturbed beach. Uh, there are people living within the refuge and uh, we can do that. As it turns out, we can get along with sea turtles. We can live pretty close to this really important refuge that sea turtles depend on not disturb them and still allow them to go through their very important reproduction. And if you imagine the east coast of Florida with peaks and valleys in sea turtle nesting, uh, the biggest and broadest peak of all is right here in the Archicara National Wildlife Refuge. So we have uh, the best nesting among the best nesting uh, in the entire western hemisphere. We know that sea turtles like undisturbed beaches, they like steep and coarse grained beaches and they like dark beaches, beaches that don't have a lot of development and artificial lighting. And all of those characteristics I described are here on the Archicara Refuge. The, the sea turtles chose the refuge for us. And you might ask, well, how did they do that? Uh, they voted with their flippers. They, they came ashore on the beach, they dug around in the sand and they laid their eggs. And all of those votes indicated that this particular stretch of coastline in South Brevard County and Northern Indian River County was a very special place, a very needed place for our sea turtles, loggerhead sea turtles, green turtles, and leatherbacks. So those votes, how were they registered? Who counted them up? Uh, well, it's a gentleman named uh, Dr. Lou Earhart at the University of Central Florida. He's a biologist who conducted nesting surveys along this coast, and he recorded the data year after year that showed how high the peak of nesting was here on this stretch of coastline. And it was very clear from the data that there were some boundaries around this area of coast that could encompass a tremendous number of sea turtle nests. And if it were a refuge, we could really protect sea turtles tremendously. So the data showed that this was the place. The turtles voted. Uh, Dr. Lou Earhart listened. Uh, the data spoke, and now we have a refuge.